It's another versus international and it's Slovenia versus Slovakia today. The battle of the Slovs and it's the semi-final in a little four-way tournament where Poland and Czechia, I believe it's pronounced, the comments section bloody loved that last time. How many people dogged the way I pronounced Czechia? Czechia, I believe it is. Well, it's Slovakia versus Slovenia today. Get in the comments and correct me on that one, ladies and gentlemen. Battle of the Slavs. The winner of this goes on to face Poland in the final. That's all there is to it. So let's go. Notes to every single team in all leagues. Both leagues. Slovenia and Slovakia. As you can see, we've got max facilities for the Slovenian first division. We've also got max facilities for the Slovakian first division all the way through. And of course, we go to the international team. We edit the nation details and we go to generated players. And we've got 200 out of 200, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, that is what we're doing. We have got the world rankings of 45th for Slovakia and 58th. For Slovenia. Now, this is being recorded in between that scintillating 0 0 draw between England and Slovenia and the next round of the Euros between England and Slovakia. It will come out after the fact. So, if England have gone out, don't hold it against the video. Well, if you're going to hold it against the video, you've already done it and you want to click on it. So, yeah, that's, that's all there is to say. Slovakian First Division is 30th in terms of competition reputation behind the Bundesliga 2. And the Slovenian First Division, or the Slovenian First League, should I say, is 36th. Well, those two are going to climb over the course of this experiment, as we all know, as with the international teams. We've got a scoring system in place, ladies and gentlemen, from last time. Let me just recap that for you. It is one point for Europa Conference League. It is two points for Europa League. It is four points for a UEFA Champions League trophy. Internationally, it is three points for a Euros and five points for a World Cup. That is what we did last time and it seems to go down quite well. There was a few comments and a few changes that were requested. I think it's the fairest sort of system in terms of scoring. However, there is one change that we're going to implement, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you to your suggestions in the comments on the last video and in previous versions. It is, if it is an all-same-nation final of a tournament... We were going to give we were going to give them a bonus point, as well as if a Slovenian team beats a Slovakian team in the final, that is also worth a bonus point. We are going to count up the trophies in the usual counter at the top of the screen that will be coming up ever so shortly, and then we will add those scores up at the end, and we will then add the bonus points and see if that makes a difference. So one of these experiments, I'm sure it will make a difference. We are still refining the scoreboard. If you've got any suggestions, please do let me know. But without further ado, let's head off 50 years into the future and see who strikes first. I mean, that was so dramatic. It's not that dramatic. It's a football manager experiment. Why are you here? Subscribe. Look at this fancy graphic that Virtual Network have made me. Hey, nice, isn't it? The sound effects, lovely. So the best current ability player in the game right now is a 188 centre-back. It's Maxence Andre for Atletico Madrid. Ricard Quintilla for United, a Spanish winger. And we are looking at Slovenia and Slovakia. Well, My Michal M Michael Balaz for Chelsea, a centre-back and defensive midfielder at 181. Slovakia. Daniel Lodzdi, Lodzdl, Real Madrid, centre-forward. Slovakia, 16-41. Not very good, is it? Move from Al Nasser. Move from Sloven and Bratislava to Al Nasser. Doesn't bode well for the leagues, does it? And the tournament wins and the trophies. But it's only the first 50 years. We're always going to get this happening. Over the next 150 years, of course. 150 years plus, should I say. We will see some changes. Speaking of some changes, Slovakia are currently 8th in the world ranking. And Slovenia a seventh. It is finally poised, ladies and gentlemen. That is fantastic to see. The Slovenian First League is up in ninth. And the Slovakian First Division is in eighth. So a flip reversal blazing squad style of the international and league reputation sort of thing. Uh, the Slovenian First League, the past winners are Olympia and Selje. Maribor, Selje, Olympia. Yeah, not really much to speak of. The Slovakian First Division has been won by Slovan Bratislava, Trnava, Dunstreda, uh, Trnava, Pod Brezova, fantastic name, Pod Brezova, Ruzenberok, 
Ruzem Berok, what a name that is. Have a bit of that one. Snapshot of where we're at. We're going to look at the Europa Conference League and head through and start counting up the score. Get the scoreboard up. Editor Jay, your time to shine. If anyone knows how to do a better scoreboard than this so we can tick up as we're going here and through OBS or something, that'd be fantastic. I have to do this manually in Photoshop because I'm, well, not very good at all the editing and all that jazz. So, yeah, it is what it is. Right, well, anyway, begging for help out the way. Begging for subscribers done earlier and again now subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. If you're not and you're still not subscribed, what are you doing back? Subscribe. We're marching towards 10k. Stumbling towards 10k. Crawling towards 10k. We're going to get there. Be one of the few. One of the 10,000. But be one of the first 10,000 to say I was there. I was there. Right. Conference League, we, well, scoring's happened already. Dunstrader, Slovakia, 1-0 Slovakia. Runner-up for, runner for Copair, no points for runners-up, as per the scoreboard thing earlier that I mentioned. Turnava, Slovakia, that's 2-0. 2-0 to Slovakia, and that's where it finishes. I'm going to just double-check this, because I always get this bloody wrong. Right, Dunstrader, Slovakia manager and team, as with Turnava, yes. And it's Europa League time, ladies and gentlemen. It's only 2-0 in Conference League, so I'm not expecting much to happen in the Europa League. So we're whizzing through. Anyone you see there that's worth a mention? Dortmund, congratulations to them. Juve, Roma, sharing the spoils here. Back and forth, hot potato. But no one, no one from our nations has won, which means the Champions League is going to be a bit of a whitewash, I would have thought. And it is. And it is. So there we go then. It is 0-0 in Champions Leagues. 0-0 in Europa Leagues. 2-0 to Slovakia in Europa, uh, Europa Conference Leagues. Time for the Euros. Okay, so England started things off in 2024, beating Belgium in the final. We'll bloody take that, won't we, ladies and gentlemen? By the time this comes out, we could be out to one of the teams featured in this video. But let's not think about that. Let's hope we're not. Then France beat Norway. To be honest, I thought there was Norway that was going to happen. Bang. There's your pun for the episode. You can leave now. Spain beating Belgium. Belgium perennial runners up here, but then they did get the win in 2036 before our first win for Slovenia in any shape or form. It was it's one nil to Slovenia and a bonus point for beating Slovakia in the final, ladies and gentlemen. The new scoreboard system is in full effect and it's making uh, not a blind bit of difference actually because the Euros are worth much more than a Conference League. So Slovakia, and Slovenia now overall take the lead for those of you keeping score. Three points for Euros. It's, it was 2-0 to Slovenia. It's now 4-2 because of um, the uh, three points and a bonus point. Then Slovenia again with another win. 2-0 in Euros. And Slovakia beating Italy in 2060, making it 2-1. And of course, we've gone to Austria just to see if Ralf Hasenhut was manager. And he was for nine years to the day. 2023, he joined, left in 2032. Probably. He resigned. He didn't say retired. So he resigned and went somewhere else. We can't check where else he went. Didn't win any trophies with Austria. So there is your Ralph watch. And to be honest, for you Ralph, ha for you Ralph Hasenhutl fans, you don't expect a Ralph watch in these because we jumped too far in the future. So it's a bonus Ralph watch. For those of you new around here, don't understand the obsession with, Ra with Ralph. It, it's just a meme of the channel that's grown out of control, really. So yeah, I'm never allowed to leave him alone. I forget, regular viewers, have my pants down in the comments. Where's Ralph Watch? There is Ralph Watch. So, yeah. 2-1 in Euros. Time for the World Cup. And, well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, as you can see here, look how many times England runner up at a glance. Three wins for England as well. But a win, the only win we see here is Slovenia beating Belgium in the final. Belgium perennial runners up once again. They did get a World Cup to their name in 2042. But Belgium runners up again. Awful for them. Norway have won. Canada have won a bloody uh, World Cup. Beating Argentina in the final. Interesting. So, Slovenia, 1-0 in World Cup. So, at the 50-year mark, the current scoreline is 2-0 to Slovakia in Europa Conference Leagues. 0-0 in Europa Leagues and Champions Leagues. It's 2-1 in Euros to Slovenia. And it is 1-0 in World Cups to Slovenia. We move to 21-23 to be 100 years into the future. I'm expecting far more trophies to come through in the next 50 years. 
So let's head straight there. And the best player in the world in 21-23 is Stefan Kaus. Of course, for France. We've also got Dominic Weber, an Austrian, a wingback. But look at that, 196 out of 197. A fabulous player playing for Liverpool. If you want to find a Slovenian or Slovakian, well, you've got two Slovenians back to back. You've got Gaspar Mlakar for Napoli, a.k.a. Parthenope, and David Cherney for Internazionale. Moved from AC Milan for £65 million. Pounds. Controversial. And another Slovenian, Marko Ivanovic. Marko Ivanovic. He's playing for Real Madrid, who... NK Kursko are in there, the Slovenian first league. So they've come from non-league because they didn't have a note on. So we've got a team coming from non-league with no facilities beating a team that had max facilities. Now, they, unfortunately, their facilities have gone. Their facilities have gone. Of course, they're going to in 100 years. The Slovenian national team is currently ranked third in the world. But I was just about to say, there's only two places ahead of them. And Slovakia occupy one of them. They bloody can. But who's top of the pile? Of course, it's England. I mean, the way we played the other night against Slovenia made them look like the bloody best team in the world, didn't we? Was it Slovenia? Slovakia? Ugh, I get confused. I get confused between them. I mean, it doesn't help that they're both called Slov and the flags are almost identical. Couldn't even tell you Benny Sesko plays for. Right. The Slovakian first division. Tenth. The Slovenian. Eighth. And we're looking over this and no one... Untoward, Slovan Bratislava, Ternava, Dunstrada, yeah, is what it is. Slovenia, again, Olympia, Sejit, Maribor, yeah, same as. Let's go to the Europa Conference League. And in 2072-73, I don't know if I noticed this last time with Brighton winning it, but Olympia actually finished runner-up for Slovenia, and they're 2-0 down. But Olympia did get one. They beat, oh, 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 Olympia. And a bonus point to boot. Olympia taking on. Breaking the deadlock, sorry, for Slovenia. And it's two apiece. Olympia getting themselves level. And it's a great start in this second 50 years. Unfortunately, nothing else has happened. We've not even got any runners up. Now, that could be a good thing because they could be going into the following tournaments and winning over there. It's Maribor. It's a flip reversal. It's a two. Complete turnaround. It's 3 2 to Slovenia now. And it's not only a complete turnaround in scoreline. The bonus point was remains from beating Slovakia in the final. 3 2. A couple of runners up here. And that's all we've got. It is 3 2 now. Of course, we were here last time as Tottenham won against Roma. And the Europa League was 0 0, wasn't it? It was 0 0. And it's not looking good, is it? We're scrolling through. I'm just making noise just to fill the gap so you can see it all. We've got a couple of runners up. We've got Tanava and Dunstrada. That is Slovakia and Slovakia. So Slovakia seem to be on the cusp of something. And Selje is Slovenia. So Slovenia get the break the deadlock. That's 1-0. Any advance on Selje? No bloody time. Only about nine years. Uh, no. No advance. 1-0. I mean, this is going to be a courtesy scroll, isn't it? 1-0 in Europa Leagues. Anything in Champions Leagues? The answer is unequivocally no. 0-0. We can't scroll down any further than this. And, of course, it was 2-1 to Slovenia last time with a bonus point for beating Slovakia in the final. Well, as you can see here, Slovenia in 2080 make it 3-1. Two runners up in a row for Slovenia, losing to Belgium and the Netherlands before Slovakia make it 3-2 and then swiftly make it 3-3. Back-to-back -back wins for the Slovakians, beating Netherlands and England. Slovenia runners up again. That's the third time in this 50-year stretch. Serbia beating Slovenia. That's the fourth time. They've come runner-up. And Slovakia again with a win in 21-20, which means that they take a 4-3 lead in Euros. Slovenia started off well, and then it became runner-up after runner-up after runner-up. And now Slovakia, 4-3 ahead. Fair play. And of course, the World Cup, while well, England have won two in a row, 66 and 70, with Slovenia the only winners in the first 50 years. We're scrolling through. England beating Colombia in the final. Three in a row for England. Three third places in a row here. Two for Slovenia, one for Slovakia. Four in a row, two apiece. England in third place, Germany winning it. And we've got our first win. Oh my word. It's not only a win for Slovakia, making it one apiece. It's their bonus point, beating Slovenia in the final, ladies and gentlemen. And we're flying through. 
no more wins. Wales third, Ivory Coast in 21-10. Right. Forgive me if I forget or get some of these slightly wrong. I'm doing this from bloody memory slash making a couple of notes on a bit of paper. Edit J's got a scoreboard up there who's been ticking up as we go along. So you guys know the score, but just for those of you who are not really paying attention looking at your phone. 3-2 to Slovenia in Europa Conference Leagues. It is two is 1-0 in Europa Leagues, 0-0 in Champions League. So Slovenia have the edge in domestic football. However, in international football, it is all about Slovakia. It is 4-3 in the European Championships and is one all in World Cup. So it's not all about Slovakia, but Slovakia have come back into it. It was all about Slovenia early doors. Slovakia were coming back. And as you can see on the scoreline, we can, I'm also going to advise, we've got bonus points. We have got bonus points from winning in the finals, but that, they'll be all tossed up at the end. So at the halfway stage, it's finally poised, isn't it? It's so close. This next... 118 years, 2241. We're coming back, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to jump straight to it with this lovely little transition. But before we do that, it's another plea for subscriptions from your good selves because I'm desperate to get to 10,000 subscribers. So if you haven't already, please do. Under Promise and Over Deliver is the name of the game on this channel. I said 2241, it's 2242. Although the season won't have finished because it's the 4th of May, so the season will have finished for that. Leap years have buggered up this simulation. But we've got a bit further than we ever have in the past. 18 hours and 53 minutes it's taken to, to get here, so there's that. The shortlist, the best player in the world, is currently a Slovenian, Gorazd Golob. What a name that is. Playing for Brinji Grosupoliedze. Wanted by Atletico Madrid and Barcelona. 24 years young, 197 current ability 198 potential ability then we've got an Icelandic for Real Madrid a Slovakian here Robert Kmet for Barcelona he's a little bit of something decent isn't he another Slovakian here Vladimir Vesely playing for Tabor Cezana we're absolutely ripping it up here he's driven he's at 182 he's got a potential ability of 194 he will get there you better believe it and yeah, another Slovakian here, Ludovic Baran for Sevilla, a centre-back. Things are looking good. Slovakia then are currently ranked first in the world. That is big. Slovenia are third. Now, okay, it only spans about 10 years, we've got over 100 years, so it might not mean the biggest thing in the world. But the fact that Slovakia are first, Slovenia are third, I think Slovakia are probably going to edge it internationally. But they, 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 that was the way it looked like it was leaning in that second 50 years. Slovenia were doing better domestically. Will that continue? Well, the Slovakian first division is 28th. That is horrific. I was not expecting that. And the Slovenian first league is 5th. Oh. <laughs> okay. So it was 3-2 to Slovenia as we start the scroll. And oh, I've gone a little bit. Trigger happy there. There's lots to cut unpack here. So 3-2. It is now 3-3. Slovakia. Turnava beating Dunstrada in the final. Dunstrada are Slovakian also. And all the same nation final. Bonus points. And of course that makes it 3-3. Then Selje for Slovenia making it 4-3. And lots of runners up and a few wins here. So I'm thinking there's going to be some big scoring happening. Big scoring happening indeed. Tabor Cezana, runner-up. Uh, Sloven Bratislava for Slovakia. That's four all. And not a lot's happened. Not a lot's happening at all. Oh, Kurka. Slovenia, 5-4. Beating Ferenc Varos of Hungary in the final. Uh, Sloven Bratislava, runner-up. Ruzan Berok, runner-up. And it's still 5-4 to Slovenia. Still 5-4 to Slovenia. Olympia runner-up there. Dunstrader runner-up last season. No one in the semis. 5-4 to Slovenia. And Slovenia were 1-0 up in Europa Leagues. Now, Olympia runner-up there. I'm not... Ah, oh, This is disappointing. I'm concerned. We've had a better time internationally. Olympia again runner-up. Conference Leagues, 5-4. Not good enough in 200 years. Internationally, had 7 Euros in 100 years. Nearly four years that tournament. Nothing's happening. We've not had any winners. Hey, Brinje Grosupilji, Slovenia, 2 0. And we're still scrolling. And nothing's happened. Nothing whatsoever. Olympia runner up here to Juve. So he's finished 2 0 in conference leagues. 
And to be honest, that doesn't fill me with hope. Considering we've got two, one conference, one uh, champion, one Europa League. Can't even speak. One Europa League in 118 years or whatever. No Champions League in the first 100 years. Probably going to get a sod all in this next 100 years. Still nil-nil. Still nil-nil. In the 70s, Barcelona on an absolute tear. Just absolutely ripping it up. Loving it. 90s. Oh! Bringe. Grosupoli. 1-0. And again, it's 2. Runners up here for Tabo, Cezanne, Bringe and Selje. The 2-0. Selje runner up again. Is that going to be it? It's going to be it, isn't it? Selje, Tabo, Cezanne. Hey, Tabo, Cezanne have won one. 3-0. They're... They're still in. Yes, they are 3 0. Sorry, 3 0. Tabos is on again. It's 4 0. 5 0. Wow. A late charge. Oof. Slovakia have got a long way to catch up in international football. Because that's 5 0. That's 5 4, meaning it's 5 4. We've got bonus point each in the Europa Conference Leagues. 2 0 in Europa Leagues, no bonus points, which means that's another four points, which makes it 9 4. 10 5, sorry, with the bonus points. And then. Four points for Champions League. That's twenty. That's tw that's thirty to five. They're twenty five points behind. But there is international football to bring it back. So thirty five. We're going to go into international football. Let's just find where we were in the twenty one twenty. So yeah, Slovakia were just won in twenty one twenty, which made it four three to Slovakia. So at three points apiece, they gained three points back, but they're twenty five points behind. Is it a little too much? They need some World Cup wins. We're all level over there in World Cups. Anyway. Oh, Slovenia, runner-up, runner-up. Three in a row for England. Oh, Slovenia, Slovakia, Slovenia. Runner-up, runner-up, runner-up. Slovenia, run-up again. I can't believe it. Slovakia, take, the, take themselves a win. 5-3. Slovakia, 22-4. 6-3. Slovakia, again, 7-3. Run-up run the year before that. And Slovenia the year before that. Slovakia again. 8-3. Slovenia. Oh, 8-4, bonus point for Slovenia. Slovakia, 9-4. Slovakia, oh, Slovakia runner up. Slovakia winning it most recently, their most recent win. Beating Slovenia in the final, bonus point for Slovakia. So that means it's 10-4, which means we go to 42 for Slovenia and 35 for Slovakia. However... We have a, runner, a, a bonus point each. Trusty Pen making a couple of notes here. Just try and get it right for you guys. Bonus point each. But if we go back, Slovenia had a bonus point in the 2040 tournament, which means it's 2-1 in bonus points there, which means we currently sit at 44-36 as we head into World Cups at one World Cup apiece. It is so close, ladies and gentlemen. So we were last here. At one apiece. Bonus point for Slovakia. Let that be known. Bonus point for Slovakia. And as we go, Slovakia with a win. 2-1. Two, two in a row, it's 3-1. And with that, they've taken the lead. Slovakia have taken the lead. Overall in scoreline. Three in a row for England there. Slovakia again. That's 4-1. Runner up there. Three in a row for England. Or two for Slovakia. One for Slovenia. Runners up. Slovakia. That five, six, seven, they've won, they've won it. Eight, they've run away with it. That's it. Eight World Cups for Slovakia. No, no World Cups for Slovenia in this last 50 odd years. Look at that. We've never seen this before in one of these experiments. The disparity. The final scoreboard is as follows, ladies and gentlemen. 5-4 to Slovenia in Europa Conference Leagues. 2-0 to Slovenia in Europa Leagues. 5-0. Five-time European champions. Slovenia, Champions League winner, should I say, a clean sweep domestically, which led the scoreline to be 30 to 5. And the comeback started. Europa, Europa, European football championships, Slovakia 10, Slovenia 4, which took us to 42 35 with bonus points 44 36. We then headed on to the World Cup where it was 8 1 to Slovakia, which means the final scores are. 49 for, Slova for Slovenia. And we've got the bonus point as well as 8. So 40 points plus 1, 41, which make, takes us to 77. So it's 49, 77 overall. Slovakia win from international tournaments. Now this is where the scoreboard system comes into effect. 
because it, how difficult is it to decipher who's won that? I think in terms of trophy haul, winning winning the World Cups by seven and the Euros by six, a bigger margin than what Slovenia did elsewhere in domestic uh, the domestic scene. You'd probably give it to Slovakia, but it's much better having this scoreboard in place. Now you've seen the scoreboard in place in an action in its full glory. Do you disagree with the winners of this experiment? Because that's the that's the trophy breakdown just above my head there. If Editor Jay's taking it down, put it back up, Editor Jay. You've got a job to do. Uh, so let me know if you disagree with anything that we've been doing in terms of scoreboard and scoreline. If I mean, I, I might take some of the ideas on board. I have, you know, the, the final, um, all the same nation final or beating the other nation in the final. We've taken that on board and we've implemented it for this one. We will be back very, very soon. Let me know in the comments if you'd make changes to the scoreboard and would that have affected the outcome of this experiment? It doesn't matter if you wouldn't. But any, any input you have, I'd be very greatly appreciative of it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. All that good stuff. Comment down below with anything that you want to talk about. I will get back to you. I, I do endeavour to get back to everyone. Um, sometimes a bit busy than other times, so it might take me a few days. But I do come back to you. So, yeah. 10,000, here we come, subscribers. Let's hope we beat Slovakia. Come on, England. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take care, guys. I'll see you soon. Crap outro that was.